Right now, there are 195 official countries in the world. But did you know that soon we're going to have thousands of new countries with their own flag, passport, and even land? Why and how can you and I start a country? This crazy idea I read about in a book called The Network State by this guy, Balaji. Hi, my name is Balaji, and I think it's now possible to start new countries. First of all, why do we need new countries? Well, because old countries are too slow. It takes years and decades to get anything done. Just to get a court decision, you need to wait a decade in some cases. It's the same reason why we build startups, because big companies are too bureaucratic. And some countries don't make sense. Someone created their borders using pen and paper years ago, and the people are stuck inside. So here's a problem with old countries. Uh, they're not innovative, they're militaristic, they're frozen in time, and really they're built for the year 1945, not the year 2022. And so we need our new countries that were actually built for the internet era. According to Balaji, it is possible to build new countries today. For the next one minute, I want you to focus and use your imagination. imagination. To build a new country today, you don't need land. You just need the internet. First, start with an idea. Start with an idea that's powerful enough to start a country, a mission that people can stand behind with its own flag or even national anthem. Imagine building a country that was meant for vegans or having one where self-driving cars were legal or simply a country where people like and get along with each other. That's the kind of thing that we don't have in many of today's countries. Second, find people online. Find an online community that believes in your idea. The kind of online community that can build a network state is it's a lot deeper than your Game of Thrones or video game community, okay? This is not a casual thing. This is, you know, a key piece of your identity. This is something you genuinely believe in. These people you trust enough that you'd want to live with them and sacrifice with them. Third, go offline. Have your community meet offline and build trust. Trust that is so deep that you're willing to sacrifice for each other. Fourth, get land. Now, your online citizens can buy land together, like apartments, buildings, farmlands, or even small towns all around the world. Think about Hawaii. It's 2,000 miles away from the mainland United States. But the people in Hawaii think of themselves as part of the same country as the Americans. In the same way, you could have a piece of the network state that's 2,000 miles away from another piece, but these people still think of themselves as part of the same country. They're in the same digital community, even if they're far apart physically. Fifth, count your citizens. How much money they have, how many are they, where they live, what they own. With enough time, your online citizens will grow and grow and grow. And before you know it, your country can have a million citizens with billions of dollars from all around the world. Once you have enough people in land, you'll be taken more seriously as a country. And when you get this big, it's time for the last step. Six, gain diplomatic recognition. Go to one of the existing 195 countries and convince them to recognize your people, your passport, your flag as a real country. The big countries will not recognize you, but the small countries will because they can trade with you and learn from your people. Countries copy each other and more and more will recognize you. So this is a continuous process. Once you realize it's not gonna happen overnight, um, that's fine. You get the first and then you work on it more and you get 
two, three, four, five, and there's a cascading process where the more countries that recognize you, the more countries that will recognize you, the more you can grow. This new country will be so much better. It will have a better constitution, better presidents, better laws, better everything. So you can have technological innovation, cultural innovation, moral innovation, change you want to see, you can now execute if you can get enough people online to agree with you and crowdfund the territory offline. <laughs> This idea sounds stupid and crazy, but theoretically, it's not impossible. Only 13 years ago, someone started a whole new currency without a government. It started as a joke. Now, it's not. It's Bitcoin, and countries like El Salvador have started to recognize it as a real national currency. We've started billion dollar companies. We've started trillion dollar currencies. Could we start million person countries? <sighs> the countries we live in today are just ideas, but these ideas can be so much better, faster, and smarter. Sometimes we need to start from scratch to build a better country.